You're literally out falling me. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my perfect fall day in NYC, which is why we are starting off our day with a pumpkin spice latte. Honestly, I outdid myself. I had no idea it was this easy to make it. Now I haven't taste tested it yet, so I'm not sure if it's actually gonna be yummy. Let's taste test it now. I'm gonna take a picture of this first because I'm so proud of it. Hey yo, she's beautiful, sorry. I'm so annoying. Are you a chef? Sorry. Hold up. Use that recipe. That recipe I just showed you, so good and so easy. Mm, guys, this is amazing. Anyways, some of you guys may not know, but I am actually a fall baby. I love everything about fall. I love the drinks. I love the coziness. I love Thanksgiving. I love literally everything. Actually, one of the biggest perks of moving to NYC for me is that I get to experience all four seasons, which I don't really get to experience that in California. And yeah, we're actually gonna start off our day with the Trader Joe's because I wanna see some of their fall snacks. I'm gonna enjoy this and we'll head out together. Ta -da! Pumpkin waffles. Okay, let me show you guys what I got. First thing, pumpkin loaf. I got to taste test this. Moist, good spices. Honestly, it tastes like fall, so I had to get it. You guys saw this because I was super excited when I was at Trader Joe's. I'm also super excited about this. Actually, I'm excited about all of these things, but this one, this is gonna be great. Hash browns, why not? Some green beans for tonight. And last but not least, I feel like I've seen everyone use this maple butter. We shall see. Now I have to get started on making lunch today, which is going to be tomato soup and grilled cheese.
As you saw, I just prepped the veggies. We're gonna let that sit in the oven for around 40 minutes or until the veggies are perfectly charred. And while we wait, I'm actually going to prep dinner because for tonight, I'm doing roasted chicken with potatoes and a side of green beans. I just want to have everything ready because tonight after dinner, my friend Erica and I are gonna be baking cinnamon rolls. So that's why I want to be able to be on schedule and make sure that everything is ready to go because cinnamon rolls do take some time. But yeah. Let's get started on the chicken. Put a little Italian seasoning. Wish you guys could smell this. It smells literally immaculate. With some hydrating. No juice go to waste. We're adding all the juices. That is so good. Moment of truth. This is literally my favorite meal ever. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I'm sorry, that. That is good. Mm. Yummy. On my way to my dentist appointment. Of course, I am running late, but I changed into this really cute sweater. Look. home from Central Park and I am back in my sweater. I had to get into my comfy clothes again before I start cooking. As you saw, I just did the dishes from making the tomato soup, but now I have to get started on cooking dinner.
look who's finally over. I'm in the fall theme today. Why is she so fall? This is my perfect fall day in NYC video and you're literally out falling me. I have a little snack for you. I'm gonna bring it. Oh. <gasps> maple syrup! Actually, maple. I've had maple butter as a Canadian, obviously. Oh yeah, she's Canadian. Yeah. I forget sometimes. Actually, I would bring maple butter for my friends over sometimes. Okay. Steam. Steam is gorgeous. Cheers. Cheers. Oh wow, that is good. The real baking finally begins because we made the yeast work. I, I trust, oh, you see they're coming out. <gasps> oh my God, it's alive. Yeah. I, I stayed away from them because I clearly, I'm the yeast killer. <laughs> she killed three bags, but it's okay. I had no idea how this works either. So we're learning together. Now it's time for the dry ingredients. With this amount of flour, you'd expect me to bake more. <laughs> Is this foamy enough? Look at that. Yes, I think that's good. That's perfect. That looks perfect. You know? Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to prep the sauces. The sauce! <laughs> Did you make the camera go sideways, bro? The dough before. Now we're gonna cover it. Look, so cute. We're gonna put it into the oven for an hour. So we made the caramel sauce for the bottom of the pan, as well as the cinnamon roll filling while we wait for our dough to rise. Moment of truth. Oh! It has definitely doubled in size. Mm. Guys, this is the moment I've been waiting for. Why was that so anticlimactic? <laughs> waiting 10 minutes for it to cool down and then we can put frosting.
Three hours of work. Literally. Okay, here we go. Mm. That's nice and gooey. It's worth it, guys. I'm not fully so convinced about the caramel on the bottom. You don't love it? Too I gooey? It makes it a bit too gooey for my preference. Mmm. That's it. It's my perfect fall day. Bye, everyone.